We are minutes away from getting the commissioner of the Big Ten, Kevin Warren, to join us. In the meantime, we get some reaction from a longtime analyst here, former head coach in the SEC and the Big Ten, Jerry DiNardo. Jerry, Dave and I mentioned a second ago, things seem so different. Not even a week ago when the schedule was announced with all that flexibility, and now the season has been pushed back to the spring at best. What do you think has changed in the last week? Well, hard to tell, Mike, but we have to believe it's the... Uh, research and the evidence about this heart condition. I, I, I do think that we need to know more information. I, I think we should have further explanation. Uh, I think people still are going to have a lot of questions to that question you just asked me because we really don't have a good answer. But I hope soon, by the end of the day, we would. What, what is the physical threat to our players that could not have been overcome this fall I will say this, though, yesterday and the day before, we didn't think there was going to be any football. I think people would say spring football is better than no football, although there's some complications to it. Uh, So I think it's a little bit of good news, bad news, Mike. Right. What do you think went into the decision not to delay this by two or four weeks, but just to say we're going to fully wait a handful of months until the spring at best? Well, I'm guessing the medical experts would say nothing's going to change in that period of time. Nothing may change in the spring either, but we certainly have a better chance of things getting better from a health perspective in the spring than we do in the next three or four weeks. The other thing was indecision. You know, I think that once again, we now have a plan. It's a plan that we didn't know we were going to have. It's not a great plan, but it's certainly a plan, not what we wanted, but at least now, because there's a ton of logistic things that we're going to have to look at if we're going to play spring college football. Well, what are some of those issues that would pop up? Because this is something, as we said at the top, this has never happened before. This is not something we can say, well, we can look back to 10 years ago when this happened. What's the first or second major issue that you see logistically that could happen if we play football in the spring? Well, when to start, when to end, I think the biggest challenge from a coaching perspective will be uh, roster management. You know, typically you have 85 scholarships in the fall. And at the end of the fall, let's say you lose 20 people, whether they leave early, whether they graduate. And so you go into spring practice with 65 returning scholarships, but then you get 20 more uh, incoming freshmen, or you might get 10 incoming freshmen. Now, if I'm a senior or a junior and I'm not going into the NFL, now I want to play in the spring. Then the players that I've signed that want to come in early, you very well may be over 85 scholarships during a competition time. We're always over 85 at some point during the season. There's medical scholarships. There's uh, a senior wanting to go to uh, spring semester so he can graduate. So he's not part of the 85 because he's not competing. This might be the first time since we've been at 85 that athletic directors are going to have to manage over 85 playing Uh, at the same time. And we may need some NCAA relief. Financially, we know all these schools are struggling. They may have more total athletes on scholarship in the spring than they've ever had before with the least amount of revenue they've ever had coming in. Well, you'd have to think logistically the NCAA or whomever would have to make one-time exemptions for that, right? Well, you would hope, but but that doesn't mean the university would use the ex, the exemption. That's the, that, the, that's the next challenge, right? If the NCAA says, okay, you can play with a 90 scholarship roster, which we haven't done for several decades, some athletic directors may say to the head coach, no, we're going to play at 85. The NCAA could say those mid-semester transfers – aren't eligible until the following year. So there's a lot of different ways of doing this. And again, roster management is uh, one of the biggest decisions you make in in coaching to make sure that it's stable and make sure that you have the best players available to you. Jerry, it's always interesting talking to you because you have the perspective of being a head coach and being a head coach at different types of programs. Um, You've said for years on here, there's no blanket statement you can say for all of college football of the values you have or even in one league because certain schools might compete for Big Ten championships every year. Certain schools are used to trying to compete for a bowl game. That being said, yesterday we had multiple head coaches come out and say that they were pretty upset and they wanted to play no matter what. 
How does that shake out in the coming hours, days, and weeks that some head coaches seem to be pretty upset if there wouldn't be a fall season? I think it shakes out like every other challenge a head coach has had. The ones that deal with the challenge the best will put the best team on the field. And we've never been through this. Uh, but I think if you ask them, would you rather the commissioner and the presidents decided no football until the fall of 2021? I don't think so. I, I think we have to understand this is a partnership between 14 schools. Not everybody is going to agree to everything. But in the history of the, the Big Ten, when there's been disagreements and disputes, once they're solved, all 14 or 10 or 11 or 12, depending on what year it was and how many members we had, we left the room locked arm. And I hope lock, I hope we do that again. It, it's altogether different. None of us expected this. A lot of things come to a coach unexpectedly. The ones that do the best job handling it usually have the most success. Microcosm for life, not just football coaching, for sure. Hang tight for just a second, Jerry. I want to remind everyone the reason we are on right now is the Big Ten has decided to postpone fall sports, saying the Big Ten Conference announced the postponement of the 2020-2021 fall sports season, including all regular season contests and Big Ten championships and tournaments, due to ongoing health and safety concerns related to the COVID-19 pandemic. In making its decision, which was based on multiple factors, the Big Ten Conference relied on the medical advice and counsel of the Big Ten Task Force for Emerging Infectious Diseases and the Big Ten Sports Medicine Committee. Jerry, one of these, this isn't just a Big Ten story. This is a national story because how it affects everybody else. And what's interesting is we've heard from different conferences saying that they are following the advice of their medical doctors and scientists as they should be. But it seems that there are different you know, things that different conferences are hearing from different people. That seems confusing, I think, to the average fan. I'm curious your thoughts on, does the Big Ten start a domino of other major conferences or do other major conferences say this really has no effect on us? I think most other conferences are going to say this, this doesn't and won't impact our, our decision. You know, and there's a great debate that has been going on for years Mike, whether we need, a, we need a commissioner for all of college football or a czar. You know, you could look at this crisis either way. You could say this is a reason to have a commission of all college football so that we're all making the same decisions. I take the other position that I believe this is a regional sport. It's nationally watched, but it's governed regionally because different regions look at things differently. And I think we're seeing this play out. We've seen conferences move the schedule back. We've seen uh, the Big Ten was going to start early. We've seen conferences uh, not play at all. Now we're seeing the Big Ten conference playing in the spring. What fits the Big Ten or what fits the SEC doesn't necessarily fit the other conference. So I don't believe this will have an impact. It, it might put some pressure on the health professionals that are advising those other leagues because how could the medicine be all that different? Uh, but I don't know that it'll put enough pressure where commissioners and presidents of other leagues will do it just because the Big Ten did it. We're going to hear from the Big Ten Commissioner Kevin Warren in just a matter of moments. And, and, you know, today's story is the postponement of the schedule. But tomorrow's story, Jerry, will be the possibility of spring football. How that could look, I mean... I, when could you start that logistically? Is March too cold, you think, to start playing football? Well, you know, I think you want to figure out when you want to end, right? And then work backwards because of what is going to be typically the, the, the normal 2021 fall season, right? So how much space are you going to need between this spring season and the next fall season? Obviously, weather is an issue. Other sports, venues... Uh, travel. There, there's going to be so many things that you have to think through because because we've never been through it. And again, I, I think if there's a positive to this, it is if we weren't going to play in the fall, the sooner we made a spring decision, the better. The sooner we weren't going to play non-conference games, the sooner we made a conference-only schedule. I think that's been what the commissioner has done. That seems to be the way he works, and I think that's the right way to work. So if we would have made a decision in three weeks, Mike, the answer to your question would have been three weeks later. Now we can start. You talk about coaches being disappointed and all that. I'll tell you one way to get past disappointment. Start focusing on how we're going to do this in the spring. 
put it to rest. We're not playing in the fall. Let's get ready for spring and have a bunch of really smart people look at that and come up with the best answer. There's no sense complaining about this, looking back about this. Let's get ready for spring football. And let's hope that happens. There's no guarantees. But let's have a really good plan. Jerry DiNardo, we appreciate your insight on this bizarre and historic day. Thank you, Jerry. You bet my thanks.